Okay, to assemble your typewriting table, you need to get all your parts laid out on a flat surface. And you're gonna start with the, um, the corner legs, the frame pieces. One thing to note is this has got a little rubber nub on it, and that's gotta face the end uh, on each of these. And that's for the uh, drop leaf to hit. It just hits this little nub, keep it from scratching. Okay. The other thing to note is you've got all the same screws except for the four of these screws that go in the corner and they have a, uh, a little slot in the end. And these are for the, the drop leaf little hinge to, or the drop leaf to hang on. And we have those in place at the bottom hole on the table and on each corner and you'll, you'll see where they go if you'll see where they were placed. You'll have to take them off to install them. So just note that that's the only, these only four screws are the only four that are, are different from the other screws. So just note that. Okay, now you're gonna wanna get your each corner started. You, you take a washer, screw and a nut, and you're gonna start with this bottom Hole, line it up. Get your washer on. It's a little tight down here, but, and then a nut on there and be sh just hand tighten these. You'll tighten them up later when everything's in position. Okay, and then there's another hole above that one. You just go ahead and add another one. There's four total holes in each corner. Three have the regular screws, and one has the special screw. And that goes on the, again, as I said, it goes on the bottom here. Let's do the, get those two in place. Now you're ready to do the special screw. Again, it has a little slot in it. And the slot is gonna be on the outside. Put your lock washer on. And then the nut. They're kind of tricky because it's it's just tight in here. Use a screwdriver if you want to help once you got it threaded. Okay. Now you can do the same thing on the other side. Again, make sure the little rubber nub is facing the end and we're going to do that these two sc screws
Again, if you don't tighten them too tight, it's a little easier to line all the holes up. You can, we're gonna tighten all the screws up in, in the end, so just gotta get them kind of loosely in place. Okay, and then the special screw, again, goes on the bottom. And we're leaving one screw open, one screw hole open because we got to put the um, the drop leaf section on, and that's that's going to go right here. Okay, now we're ready to put on a a drop leaf piece. So you're just going to want to lift up the corn a little bit. And you can see we drop that. We drop that little hook on top of this special screw here on the bottom. And once that's in place, just install another of the screws in this around in this hole. So you got you got three layers here on this one because of the drop leaf. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we're gonna do the other corner, same way. Get your screws ready. Again, the nub goes on the end facing this direction. All right, I've got two in place. And now we got the special screw. Those in the bottom outside corner. All right, now we'll go to the last corner piece.
All right, and then your special screw. Again, bottom, outside corner. Okay, those are all hand tightened in there. All right, we're gonna hook that drop leaf piece section up in the little slot and secure the last two screws. Now, when you're tightening up the table, um, these two screws, you're gonna, you can adjust the tension on them because that will um, make it easier or harder to open those uh, drop leaves. Yep. The washer. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is we've got this center support piece that we need to install, and that's just a matter of the flat side goes facing up. So since we have it upside down, we've got the, the open end facing up. Now there's two holes here. I guess you can adjust the height, but I just put it on the one that you can see the mark where it was before. If you want it a little bit higher, you can do that. And again, just a screw, a washer, and a nut in each corner. You could put the screws in a first and then go back and put the nuts if you want to keep it, keep it up in position. Okay, then you want to tighten those up and you're done. Now all you have to do is go back and tighten all the screws up. And like I said, you might need to adjust the tension on that one screw that holds the, uh, the drop lease in place.
because you want to make it so you can still drop down your drop leaf so it can't be too tight. You just lift up a little bit and it drops down and put it back like that. There you go.